A new ferry service between Melbourne and Port Arlington on the Bellarine Peninsula is a step closer to reality. It took its first test run with passengers today. Nearly 400 people took the journey, and that's in stark contrast to the Werribee to Melbourne ferry trial, which is struggling to get people on board. Cameron Best reports. Port Arlington locals are in a flap over a direct ferry connection to Melbourne. The whole town's a buzz. People stand, I couldn't believe the people standing on the pier waving goodbye like we're on a cruise ship. And the benefits for the Bellarine will be enormous from this. John Ray has been working for nearly a decade to see the dream of a daily ferry service to the big smoke. We're coming Melbourne, here we come. The 39 kilometres across the bay takes an hour and a half. The service competes very favourably both on time and cost with those that are using uh, bus and train. The operator, Port Phillip Ferries, has room for 400 passengers on board, but needs 300 on each trip to make it viable. Gorgeous, lovely, smooth trip. Never ever thought I'd see this happen. Well, hopefully it's the start of something big. While this ferry is full, the service from Werribee to the Docklands has had a disappointing start with just a handful of passengers using the service and escaping the daily traffic jams on the Westgate. The Werribee service at this point in time is under pressure, I would have said, in terms of its commercial viability. Uh, we haven't made a final call on that yet, but the numbers have been disappointing and uh, without the numbers we can't support the service. While there's a lot of water to flow under the bridge, these people are hoping the Port Arlington service can become reality. Cameron Best, ABC News. To find out